solve for 2 to the power of 2x plus 1 plus 5 times 2 to the power of x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now this here is an indices problem and CSEC AdMats likes to bring two different types of problem. The first type is to compare powers. Let's look at a simple example. Suppose I have 2 to the power of x plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 20. If I carry the 4 across it becomes negative 4. So then 2 to the power of x plus 2 is equal to 16. Now 16 can be rewritten in base 2 as 2 to the power of 4. So then I have the same base and I have different powers here. I have x plus 2 and 4. So now we can compare powers to find x. So x plus 2 is equal to 4 and x is equal to 2. That's the first way CSEC likes to bring indices problem. The second way is to use substitution for something over here and then make it into a quadratic form and then solve for the equation. So more than likely, just by looking at this, I know that I have to use the second way, some substitution, and right away I think CXE is giving me a hint to substitute y is equal to 2x. So what I'll try to do for this problem, I'll try to break everything down in terms of 2x. So for this first term, I'll try to make everything in terms of 2x. There's some things that we need to know before we start as well. So a to the power of m times a to the power of n, that's a to the power of m plus n, Example, 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 1, that's equal to 2 to the power of x plus 1, same base. Second, a to the power of m to the power of n, that's equal to a to the power of m times n. So then, for example, 2 to the power of x to the power of 2, that's the same as 2 to the power of 2 times x. Okay, and then we need to know how to factorize a quadratic form ax squared plus bx plus c. So let's start. Now let's try to break down this term in terms of 2 to the power of x. Now first let's apply the first rule. So 2 to the power of 2x times 2 to the power of 1 is the same as this 2x plus 1 plus 5 2 to the power of x minus 3 is equal to 0. And now I can break 2 to the power of 2x as 2 to the power of x, remember I want to get it in this form, 2 to the power of x to the power of 2, that's the same as this, look at this over here, times 2 to the power of 1 plus 5, 2 to the power of x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now I can substitute. Let y equal to 2 to the power of x. So then now this here would become y squared times 2 to the power of 1 plus 5y minus 3 is equal to 0. And then this here now is 2y squared plus 5y minus 3 is equal to 0. This here is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is equal to 2, b is equal to 5, and c is equal to minus 3. Therefore, a times c is equal to 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6, and b is equal to positive 5. To factorize this, we need to solve, sorry, we need to find two numbers that when multiplied, it will give us minus 6, and when added, it will give us plus 5. Now, if you can't find this, we can just write the factors of 6, so 1, 2, 3, and 6, and find the pairs that when multiplied, it will give us minus 6. So I have found 4 pairs of 1 times minus 6 as minus 6, then negative 1 times 6 as minus 6, and so on. And then let's look for the pair that when we add the two numbers inside, we get positive 5. So it would be this pair here. So then now I can rewrite this quadratic form as 2y squared minus y plus 6y using these numbers minus 1 and 6. So minus y plus 6y replaces the plus 5y. Now minus 3 is equal to 0. Now I have to factorize four terms here and we can do this by grouping. So let's look at the first two terms, 2y squared minus y. What is common between these two terms? 
that's just y. So y times something will give us 2y squared. And that's 2y. I'll do this quickly. You're all supposed to know how to do this. And then uh, y times something, it's minus y. So that's minus 1. So now, since I have 2y minus 1, I can put 2y minus 1 here. And then something times 2y would give us plus 6y. And then this same something times minus 1 would give us minus 3. That's just plus 3. So plus 3 times 2y, that's plus 6y. Plus 3 times negative 1, that's minus 3. And then this here is now 2y minus 1, y plus 3, when we factorize. Okay, is all equal to 0. Okay, remember we had let y is equal to 2 to the power of x and we had found this so then either this term here is equal to 0 or this term here is equal to 0 so either y plus 3 is equal to 0 so then y is equal to minus 3 or this term is equal to 0 because anything multiplied by 0 would give us 0 so 2y minus 1 is equal to 0 so then 2y is equal to 1 y is equal to a half okay before we go any further we need to know two things let's look at the first one a to the power of negative m is equal to 1 over a to the power of m let's look at an example 2 to the power of minus 1 is equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 1 which is just 1 over 2 3 to the power of negative 2 is equal to 1 over 3 to the power of 2 and that's just 1 over 3 times 3, which is 1 over 9. And then 1 over 4 squared, that's the same as 4 to the power of minus 2. Now let's look at number 2. e to the power of x is always greater than or equal to 0 for any real number x, where a is a positive value. Okay? Now... We know that y is equal to 2 to the power of x, and we found that y is equal to negative 3. So then negative 3 is equal to 2 to the power of x. But we know, look, a is positive. So 2 here is positive, And x is any real number. It should always be greater than 0. So then we cannot find a value for x to satisfy this equation here. So this here cannot work out. So then we say that this here is no solution. Now let's look when y is equal to a half. If y is equal to a half, then that means that a half is equal to 2 to the power of x. Okay, so 2 to the power of x is equal to a half. And we know that a half is the same as 2 to the power of minus 1. So we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of minus 1. And now we can compare the powers and we see that x is equal to minus 1. So then this is your answer.